Welcome back to this RB. If you like this video at any point, hit the like button. I hate the fact that people have to feel like they're beneath other people based on, I didn't do sh for this face. And that's something I explain to my kids regularly. When people tell my daughter that she's beautiful, I correct them. Yes, she's take that compliment. She'll say, that's that's God's compliment. That's not my compliment, but thank you. Because she didn't do sh for that. Wow. The first thing that happened. That down? The first I mean, that sounds good, but I'm just going to tell you the real. If a woman look good, nine times out of ten, it's going to go to her head. And she is going to feel like she's better than people at some point based on those looks. They usually start in the teen years. Once boys start giving her attention and trying to give her stuff and treat her like she's just this perfect being that can do no wrong and that everybody wants to worship like a god, it's hard for the human brain to get all that attention and praise and not let it go to their head. Regardless of what they know is right or wrong or what their parents told them, it don't matter. I like the sentiment of what she's saying, but it's probably not going to work. I hope it do, though. First thing that happens is you when you find yourself in a messed up situation as a grown up, you're like, damn, what can I do? What can I do? I'm pretty. So now you about to trick with now you about to hit the stage. Now you about to use your face because you know how to use your face to get what you want because he's been telling you you're pretty all your wow. life. I hate that shit. Wow, so I now, hate that shit. So now we need a press conference. The reason why I have such feelings about this conversation is because this is something I am very intentional about. Yes. My daughter is light skinned, hair look like mine, green eyes. I tell her regularly, my you better be smart because that face ain't gonna do to get you laid on your motherfucking back. Uh, that's a fact. I mean, being pretty, it can get you some things in life, but most women don't know how to use their pretty to their full advantage. Really, your pretty is meant for you to lock down a good man who's gonna take care of you and you know, provide for you, guide you, protect you, even when you don't look like that no more. That's the trick. That's what you're supposed to do with that beauty. If you're a guy that starts dating girl and you suspect she might be an escort, can you spot that very early on? I'm always like, if you seem like you have too much money or like you seem like you're rocking all this nice designer stuff, for sure I'm thinking about it. I think the biggest one is like, do they have Instagram photos in really nice restaurants or in foreign places? and there's no dudes. That's the biggest one. If they're there with their boyfriend, 100%. then it makes total sense. That's but it. how many girls are really going to drove pay by themselves? And they're not <laughs> posting a photo with yeah. the, the John. Or they're there with their girlfriends, and then they post Why a photo the together. Yeah. I know girls who are sports who are also stars, and they post a photo at a really, really nice restaurant just showing the table. Uh -huh. but they, where's the guy? Uh -huh. the I mean, yeah, just pretty much assume all these women on Instagram are prosties. I mean, yeah, if she have those stereotypical IG baddie pics, she probably using SEX to get what she want out of life, whether it's the OF pages, just dudes hitting her cash app because she pretty. I mean, I, I all lump it together. You monetize your looks. Do you think only friends make girls more spoiled because they make so much money now, no jobs can compete and they just get spoiled with this income. No, because I feel like you could say that that's like saying, well, now a doctor makes X amount of dollars. Is he spoiled? No, he went to Oh my good. She's comparing herself to a doctor. Is a doctor spoiled? <laughs> hey, the thing about a doctor is when his looks fade or her looks fade, she's still a doctor. If his or her face get deformed in a crazy accident, he or she is still a doctor. But would you still have all those OF supporters if something like that happened to you? See, that's the difference. You don't have any real skills, and it's a good chance that you won't be able to make a living off of OF for the rest of your life. But obviously, this girl is a dang bat. School, he got his degree, he studied, you know what I mean? That's what he makes. I've paid my dues. I've mm. busted my ass to get where I'm at and build the following that I have. I've modeled for 15. Like literally, she busted open that to get where she is. And other guys busted on that for her to get where she is. So in a way, I guess you can say she busted her butt to get where she wants. I've put a lot into this and worked so Just like spoiled? a medical doctor who went to medical school for 15 years, you model I'm just for saying, 15 I've, years. I've, I like that. So I don't feel spoiled. Nobody handed me this. Yeah. I've worked for everything I'll play that devil's I have. advocate here. It's definitely easier. Like, this is definitely easier than medical school, right. in my opinion. Yeah. I'm not saying that... Okay, so the other woman has somewhat of a higher IQ than the chick with the big boobs. Okay, I'll give her some credit. 
she has some type of common sense where she got to throw that in there that it's like i wouldn't put an equivalent to it i think that how our society like we don't determine the supply and demand chain so how our society is going to value it's like in the same way that lebron makes more than a neurosurgeon and a neurosurgeon is doing something arguably more important mm, yes. or valuable to he's saving a life and so the way that we put value on different careers jobs whatever it is in the time hey get it while you can make six figures a month hey do it the only problem is a lot of women don't invest a lot of women don't believe in investing because they can lose the money they don't want to take the risk. Women hate risk. They like comfort and predictability and sure things. So a lot of these OF models, they blow through the money. They buy a nice car. They blow it on bags. You know, 10 years later, she's not going to have, you know, a million in a bank account. But if you're making six figures a month, there's no reason why you shouldn't have a million in investments after, you know, five, six years of doing that. Most of these women will be broke in 10 years. And then people ask, why do women get PIMPs? That's why. So they're not broken 10 years from blowing through the money and partying with it. That's why women need PIMPs. That's one of the reasons why women need men. Because even women who make six figures often don't do that well with the money. That's why I think even dudes who make 20, 30, 40,000 a year can bring value to a woman's life. Even if she's a Harvard graduate who makes six figures.